Hello, and thank you for attending my presentation today. My name is Paul Bender, and I'm one of the product managers in the FlowServe SEAL group, and we're here today to talk about considerations and piping plan selection. Piping plans are a critical component in a pump reliability strategy. Their purpose is to provide clean and cool fluid to the mechanical seal, providing proper lubrication to the mechanical seals, thus maximizing the life of the seal itself. Additionally, they can capture and control emissions, collect and control leakage, and provide a platform to monitor the mechanical seal and set alarms as needed. As you start to select a piping plan, it's very important to first narrow down your choices. There are a lot of different piping plans available, as demonstrated by this typical piping plan poster available from any mechanical seal manufacturer. So how do you select and how do you narrow down your choices? First, you want to focus on the type of mechanical seal you have, whether it's a single seal, unpressurized dual seal, or a pressurized dual seal. Then focus on what you need that piping plan to do. Once you go through that process, it'll narrow down your choices and make it much easier to select the proper piping plan for your application. Specifying a piping plan can be a complex process, but it doesn't have to be. As you get started, it's very important to understand what a piping plan is. We all understand that a piping plan is used to manage and control the environment around a mechanical seal, but it's important to remember that a piping plan itself is not a product that you can order. A piping plan is an assembly of different products like accessories, instrumentation, and more. That assembly is generically defined in function by an industry association. The most commonly referenced one is API 682 but it's up to the end user or the manufacturer of the piping plan to expressly specify all the details and the components and construction of that piping plan. What that means is you can have a wide variation in scope, price, and lead time all within the same piping plan. As I'm going to demonstrate now for plan 53A, the extremes in that scope and supply. As you look at the left, that is a common general industry piping plan 53A. It can typically cost around $2,000 or $3,000 and can have a lead time of less than one week. As you look at the right, you can see a plan 53A that is commonly used in the oil and gas industry on large projects where you have an EPC and OEM involved. Here, that cost of that piping plan 53A can easily exceed $50,000, and I've seen it reach as high as $90,000, and can have a lead time of up to 26 weeks. It's important to understand that these are both plan 53As, and they both do the exact same function for the mechanical seal. But as you start to look at the different options in instrumentation and scope of supply, you can come up with very, very different products. As you start to specify your piping plan, it's very important to consider some of the factors that can affect price and delivery. One of the most important things that can affect price and delivery is instrumentation. When you have a general industry piping plan, you may just have a simple pressure gauge and level gauge that are very inexpensive and readily available. But as your piping plan gets more complex and you move from switches to transmitters, the specific requirements of those transmitters may significantly affect the price and lead time of the piping plan itself. Governmental regulation in piping plans for this specific end user location, it's also very important to communicate. Failure to do so may lead to significant delays in shipment and rework costs associated with that governmental regulation. If you work in the oil and gas industry and require compliance to API 682, it's very important to communicate this up front. Many times that API 682 compliance can add two or three times to the cost of the system and may add to delays and longer lead times due to component availability. Many customers have approved vendor list or brand preferences. It's important to remember that your customer 
vendor lists or brand preferences may be different than the manufacturer's preferences or purchasing contracts. Compliance to these approved vendor lists may add significantly to the price and lead time compared to using the manufacturer's brand preferences. Designing to extreme environments, low temperatures or high temperatures or significantly high pressures will significantly affect your price and lead time. So it's very important to understand what's readily available and design your piping plan around the most readily available components. Many customers want additional non-destructive examination and testing of other piping plans. It's important to remember that things like positive material identification, radiography, or liquid penetrant examination are additional manufacturing operations, which do add to the cost and lead time of your system. But more importantly, the documentation of those testing compliance and communication of that to the end user will significantly add to the cost and lead time. A lot of customers will ask for specific certifications or additional documentations with their piping plans. It is important to remember that many of these additional considerations aren't required due to the design standards and will add to the cost and lead time of the piping plans itself. Materials of construction are also an important consideration. More and more, we are seeing requirements and specifications for exotic alloys. It's important to note that these alloy markets are very volatile and the price is changing daily, weekly, and monthly. If you do require exotic alloys, it's very important to understand that the availability of these components and the price of these components will be significant and change over time. System construction and the connections used within the piping plan itself are also very important to consider. Many times piping is much more expensive than tubing and if you're looking at MPT connections versus class 600 or class 1500 or even higher flange ratings, this can significantly affect your cost and lead time with your piping plan. And finally, custom paint specifications are very important to understand and consider. Working with custom paint specifications may not be standard for the specific vendor for your piping plan and sourcing those paints and many times they may have to go out to an outside vendor that can add significant costs and lead time associated with the painting specifications. If you want to avoid the complexities with specifying your own piping plans, many mechanical seal vendors will have their own standard piping plans available. There are a number of advantages to using these standard fit for purpose piping plans. The first advantage is a much quicker quotation process. Most of these standard piping plans have fixed pricing and fixed lead times and drawings already associated with the standard plans. Also, because they're using the preferred vendors and components of these piping plans, and many of these plans may be stocked, they will typically offer much shorter lead times and much better availability. And finally, in addition to using those standard vendors and gaining economies of scale, typically these standard piping plans will offer much better pricing compared to fully custom piping plans. At FlowServe, we recognize that our customers are driving us to develop more and more standard products and piping plans for market specific solutions. With this in mind, we have developed two new standard reservoir series for plan 52 and 53A piping plans. The first is the 682R reservoir series. This is a fully API 682 fourth edition compliant reservoir series. It is standardized on the larger five gallon size with cooling coils, which provides better cooling to mechanical seal and better reliability for the whole system. Within this reservoir series, we've developed an option for flange bottoms, additional hand pumps, integrated stands, 
and FLAN connection options. We have also built in PMI, radiography, and LPI, which are not required by API 682 or ASME Section 8.1, but many customers are requesting this NDE, and we have built that in to this new product family. Additionally, for the general industry market, we have developed and launched the NR Reservoir Series in 2020. This is becoming a very popular product for us. It is designed around ASME Section 8.1. It's available in a two or five gallon size with or without cooling coils. It has a number of options, including stand and hand pumps available. We have had many of our customers pushing us to develop a standard 53B. In answer to those customers, we have developed a new series called the 682-53B. This product series features API 682 fourth edition compliance. It comes in two different constructions, butt welded pipe or a lower cost tubing option. It is standardized on a 10 gallon accumulator with a carbon steel shell and comes standard with offshore duty paint for corrosion protection. We have multiple seal cooler options available, including wet seal coolers and natural or forced convection air fin coolers. It features FlowServe fixed alarm strategy, which is our preferred strategy for 53Bs, or there is an optional floating alarm strategy. This product also has options for hand pumps and a heated insulated blanket and more options. The final piping plan that we're going to talk about today is the Plan 65 products from FlowServe. Our standard Plan 65s come in two different configurations. The first is the A65 series. This is a fully compliant API 682 fourth edition piping plan. It comes standard in three different construction options, either all MPT construction, socket welded construction, or butt welded construction. And this product family features multiple options for instrumentation. For customers that do not require API 682 fourth edition compliance, we do have the N65 series, which is a lower cost general industry duty piping plan. It is designed to ASME section 8.1. It features ambidextrous mounting configurations and also has a number of different instrumentation options. Thank you for attending my presentation today. In summary, piping plans are key to pump and seal reliability. They do a number of different things for the pump and mechanical seal, including providing clean and cool fluid to properly lubricate the mechanical seal faces, capture and control emissions and leakage, and provide a proper platform for monitoring the performance of the mechanical seal. It's also important to remember that there are many factors influencing the specifications of a piping plan, and you need to be very mindful of those to make sure you don't significantly increase the cost and lead time associated with your piping plan. And finally, be sure to consult your mechanical seal vendor on what standard piping plans are available. Many times these standard piping plans from your mechanical seal vendor will offer you the best price and best lead time available for market specific solutions. Thank you and please don't hesitate to reach out to me in the future if you have any questions.